Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, I'd like to focus on creating more realistic looking 3D models. Uh, so in the past, we've, we focused a lot on sort of the 2D space and creating a good 2D drawing uh, for like an architectural drawing. In this one, I wanna focus more on creating that 3D look to make it just look like nice, real 3D rendered. Because um, Sweet Home 3D actually can do, it actually can create pretty realistic looking uh, good 3D models. So I've kind of resized my workspace here, and we're going to run over this fairly quickly. So if you haven't been following along with the other videos, you might want to go back and watch a few of those. So I'm not really going to um, reteach a lot of what we've learned, at least in this video. Um, something new I am going to teach you, instead of just doing the floor like this, like we've done in the past, um, to the corners, if we hit the escape key, we can just double click and it creates a floor within any wall space, which is pretty cool. Uh, so now we have a nice room here with a floor. So we can come in and just sort of start changing this right away. So the first thing I want to do is go to my selection tool. Uh, we'll double click in here and we'll make sure that our uh, ceiling is being displayed. And let's change our ceiling color. We'll just change it to like a, like a pure white color. And then our walls around the room for now, we'll just make them pure white as well. Our floor, let's do a texture and let's give it, um, let's do something nice and fairly neutral. So we could do, maybe we could try, actually we could try like a wood floor to see how this looks. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So let's double click, let's find something more neutral than that. So under texture, maybe we will just do, I hate to do tile. Let's do these blue tiles. I kind of like these blue tiles actually. Yeah, let's do these blue tiles. Blue with white looks pretty nice. So what we're gonna do is just create a single 3D view but we're gonna try and make it look more realistic so it doesn't look like it was drawn in like Microsoft Paint. We want it to look nice with lighting and shading and have it look pretty cool. So we're gonna throw some furniture in here. So the first thing let's do, let's go to our uh, living room and let's just grab a nice, uh, I think there was like a corner sofa, yeah. So we'll grab this corner sofa and just kind of throw it in the corner there. And then there was a good uh, coffee table as well. So let's put this in. And then I wanted to do, I want to show you, because we can actually change and edit this furniture quite a bit too and change the look of it. So under bedroom, uh, there was a bedside table that I wanted to throw in right over here. Um, or maybe we'll put it over here actually. Okay, cool. That might be good for now. Was there any, uh, under living room, was there any pictures or anything that would be cool? Don't know if there was. Something we could hang on the wall would be nice. Um, we can make a picture. I guess we'll make. We'll just make a picture. Let's do that. Okay, we'll make a picture. So, oh no, actually let's do a, a flat screen TV has a base. So let's, yeah, we'll make a picture. Uh, okay, so what we can do, if we wanna get in and change, oh, and I, I wanted to say, these are the kind of the stock items, the stock furniture that comes with the free version of Sweet Home 3D. You can import, uh, there's all kinds of different packs that we've learned in the past. You can just go to furniture, import furniture, and go find models. If you click here, it just brings up the site. And we can actually get some really, really good models in here. Uh, so if you're, if you're worried about how limited the selection is, the sky is the limit. We can download packs of hundreds and thousands of different models. And ultimately, we can actually create our own 3D models if you're skilled enough to do that. Let's uh, click on this sofa here. If we just double click up here, we, it comes up with all these options. And we can actually change this sofa just like we would change any other thing like the floor or the walls. We can change the color of it. If we just go to color, we can select a color and change it. And now it's a green sofa. Looks like almost like an inflatable sofa. We can also change the texture. We can apply and just give it a texture like we would like this sky texture. This is not a good example because we wouldn't really want to do this, but it applies that texture to this. So if you have a specific, a specific sofa that you'd like to um, apply a texture to, you could take a picture of the texture of that sofa, and then you can, you can import that as a texture like we did in a couple previous videos, and then you can apply it to this sofa and actually recreate a feel and a look of a real world sofa that you have. But the best thing to do here is come into materials and click modify, because then we can actually apply a color or a texture and apply like a, uh, kind of like a shininess to it. So we're gonna go, we'll do color, but let's make this more like a white, maybe even a pure white, but we'll apply a, uh, a shininess, or we'll make it sort of like in between matte and shiny. We'll go okay, okay. And now it looks like this kind of bright white sofa. 
but it won't really, um, when we get to lighting this, oh, that might be too white. So I think I will get in and modify that and change it just a little bit. Uh, I don't think I have a good texture I can use, but we can make it like a little bit more, like a, a not quite so white, so it looks a little more realistic, give it, give it some shading. We have a white sofa, we have this black coffee table, and we might want to change it too, so we could change, right now it's completely square. We could make it a little bit more rectangle by giving it just some more dimension like this. And then we can also make it, um, we want to make it shiny because it's a glass top, so we want to have it have a nice shiny top. And you'll see when we get into rendering, it didn't change the look of it too much there, although we can catch the light with a certain angle, I think. You can see it catches the light a little bit there. When we get into actually rendering this out and creating an image, there's options where we can change the lighting and change this around quite a bit. Then this nightstand here, I want it to match. I want this to be black. So I think I will go to, uh, I think I'll just do color on it. And let's just make it pretty much black. So actually, let's make it a, oh, let's make it, I guess we'll make it kind of shiny as well, or matte. Let's make it matte. I want it to kind of match this. Uh, let's make it shiny. I, I want it to kind of match and look similar to this uh, coffee table. All right, great. And so now let's, uh, I'm not loving my floor pick now, but let's just see what this would look like. So we, if we right click and go to virtual visit, let's kind of frame our shot what we actually want this to look like. So I can, uh, I can make this a little bit larger. Let's move our mouse around. In fact, I'm gonna right click and go uh, display in separate window. Then we can size this exactly how we want it to look. And then we can actually move the mouse around by left clicking and holding. We can push the arrow keys on the keyboard. And we can actually walk like as if it's a first person shooter game. We can hit the arrow key forward. We can also grab our guy up here and just move him around. And then we can see, we can rotate him. And then we can, uh, so there's a couple different ways we can change that. So let's say we want this to be the look. And I'm not really loving the contrast between this. Let's actually, let's grab this coffee table here. Let's put it over here. And let's kind of frame our, our picture to look kind of more like here. That's pretty good. We can change the way that this view too. If we right click, we can go modify virtual visitor. So right now he's, his eyes are at five foot six inches. We can change this maybe to four foot six. Uh, and his field of view is like 63. So we could kind of change that different too, but I kind of like that. Let's kind of leave it just like that. Let's color these walls a little bit. So let's bring this over here for now. I'm gonna right, I'm gonna select the floor. We'll right click and go modify, uh, modify rooms. And we'll change the uh, walls. Instead of white, let's actually change them to a, uh, like a more, in fact, there's this color. I think this is the color we grabbed. This is an actual Home Depot color. Uh, of, I'm not sure if it was bare paint or what it was. Wait, did that not work? Right click, modify room, and then we want to change the wall. Oops, oh, I did the ceiling on accident. So no, no wonder. Let's keep the ceiling white so we get some nice reflection. We're not gonna actually look at the ceiling and let's change the walls to this color of uh, wall here. So now we have like more of a brown. That's not super good and it definitely clashes with our floor. Uh, so, and what we're running into here is uh, user limitations. I'm not exactly an interior designer, so I'm gotta, I wanna make this look nice, but I can't like force it and do something that I'm not f super familiar with. Let's do a wood, let's try this wood floor. Ugh, that looks bad. Let's see if we can change this though. Let's right, right click, let's go to modify. Uh, again, we have to select it first, right click, modify rooms. Let's see if we can change this floor a little bit to, what can we do, scale? Can we change this at all? We can't change that a whole lot, can we? Let's find a, let's find a different type of, uh, let's find a tile, how about we can get a good tile floor? Maybe this uh, light blue tiles, let's try this. This is like more of a stone look. Okay, that's not great either, but let's just leave it for now. Because I just wanna show you, so let's just say we did render this out. Um, and we can spend, the more time we spend detailing this, the better it's gonna look. But just to show you of what it's looking like so far, we click this camera button under create photo. And if we go create right now, it just looks uh, basically like it looks like this. Just a smaller version. But we can actually change this quality up to, if we go up to three quarters here, we get a lot more options here. Now if we go create, it takes a little bit longer to generate and we see there's some shading. The couch looks kind of shiny. In fact, I don't like the couch looking that shiny but then this table looks really nice. First thing, let's come into our, our couch and let's change it. 
under um, we want it to be completely matte so we go okay okay now if I re-render this it's gonna look not quite so shiny which is good uh, so that's a pretty good view here if we, and we can change the size of this but I'm gonna leave it small right now uh, so yeah we can kind of see that's already looking a little bit better than it is here and when we look when we view this larger you'll see what I mean uh, so we could throw in maybe we want to put in let's give a little bit more character to that background so let's grab a uh, window I'm going to close some of this. We'll grab like a, a nice big window to put behind here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We can kind of center it on there. And uh, zoom out here a little bit so that we see, oh, if we can. OK. Well, that's all right. We just want the bottom of this window. So I'm going to double click on it. We just want the bottom of it to be uh, not at one. We want it to be maybe a little bit higher than that. Let's go two foot six. And the height of it, let's just shrink that down a little bit. And so that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We could even, uh, now I'm not so sure if I like that. It looks okay. Yeah, it looks all right. Oh, our room doesn't have any baseboard either, so that'll make, look a little more realistic. We can give it some baseboard by going add baseboard. Let's give it some white baseboard. And let's make it uh, six inches tall, six and a half inches tall. Okay, now we have a nice white baseboard here. And actually, I'm not loving this window with the wood. I wish it were white. I wonder if we can change it to white. I'm not exactly sure if we can do that. This is the window pane. I don't think we can. So let's just delete this window and let's grab a nice white window to put there instead. If we hover over the window for a second, we can actually see what each of these will look like. So maybe I can find a good one that's white that has some character because I want to kind of match. Uh, not as much character as all that, but let's just grab, let's just do this slider window and we'll just make it kind of big and fit in there. So we can resize it just by clicking on it here. We can move it and we can change a lot of this. We can change the height of it just by clicking on it on the plan. Instead of double clicking, we can change a few things. We can, uh, oh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, let's do that. And if I double click, let's change the width of it real quick. We'll change it to six feet. That's not too bad. Maybe you liked the other one before, but I kind of like the white, the white look of this one. So let's double click here and let's raise it up. So let's have it be not quite, let's have it be six feet and let's have it uh, start at, oh, it goes all the way to the ground. No, no, no. Let's have it start at three feet or two, two feet, six inches. How about, and then we got to change it again. All right. That's not so bad. And you'll see kind of what I'm doing here. It just takes a little bit of time to get all these things, to get things to work right. And so there's definitely an amount of patience involved. All right, here we go. So this is starting to look a little bit better, I think. So now this is what our, our view looks like for us. We can use our arrow keys to walk forward a little bit. Maybe we want to be kind of look down here so we just see part of the, the window. And there's actually some window blinds we could throw in, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'll just take too much time. Let's render this view here and see what see how it looks. So we go to this picture. We have it be on this setting of uh, quality and we go create. And then we see that light out there. Oh, you know what let's do? Let's change our scene real quick. So we go file or we go uh, 3D view, modify 3D view. And we have the outside, uh, let's have the outside be the ground cover, be the ground be grass. And let's have the sky be um, a, like a lighter blue cloudy sky like this. Is that going to look okay? Yeah, that's pretty good. Now when we render this, I think even that will render better the outside. So we go create. Yeah, ooh, actually no, that outside grass looks terrible. So let's just make sure we change our view so that we don't see that too much. Oh, I don't know if we can. Oh, I know what we can do. So let's change the time of day. It's daytime. Let's change it to... Um, 12 a.m. Let's change it to nighttime outside and, and see if that'll. So now it's dark outside. That's pretty cool. Or maybe even like 6 a.m. So we can change the time the picture's taken, which adjusts the outside lighting. Yeah, that's not too bad. 6 a.m., 8 a.m. Let's see what that how that looks. I want a little bit of light out there. Maybe 7 a.m. All right, cool. So maybe we like this view. This is looking actually not too terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and make our, is our floor shiny? Let's make our floor a little bit shiny. Uh, I don't know if we did that. No, it's, it's matte. Since it's tile, let's make it a little bit shiny too. 
All right, guys, and then we're going to make this, let's make this a nice big picture. So we change this up to 2000 pixels now. So now this is gonna be a, a large picture about the size of our whole screen. And we're gonna put the quality all the way up to best. And I'm gonna go create. And this is gonna create a really good quality picture of this scene that we've created. So I'm gonna go create. And it's probably gonna take a second. Yeah, so it's going through pixel by pixel. And it takes some time because it's gotta go through and create all of this. Oh, you know what I didn't add in was lights. So under here, under lighting, there's actually an option too. We can add in different lights. Right now it just by default has this box check that says add ceiling light. So it adds a single ceiling light, but you can actually add in different lights at different points in the room and control the brightness of that light to create a good uh, lighting effect. And it actually changes the feel of the room quite a bit. So maybe I'll pause this video and I'll, uh, we'll, I'll resume again when it's done rendering this image. Okay, this image is done rendering now. It still doesn't look too much different because it's so small, but we'll just click save and we can save this to a place on the computer. I'll save it desktop and I'll call it um, final room and hit save. And then it'll save that to the computer. Now we can hit close and minimize and we can open this uh, image and see how it looks. So now we have a nice, pretty good image we can zoom in on. We see we have this shiny looking table that doesn't look too bad actually. You can actually see it almost looks like a metal table. And this has some shininess. Look at that, there's a shadow behind it. Um, based off of where the light is, there's shadows behind this couch. We see this floor looks a lot better now. We could actually, if we would have made it a larger picture, we could have zoomed in and it wouldn't become grainy. Our, even our baseboard looks pretty good. So everything looks pretty nice here. The outside, it doesn't look super great. We could have changed that texture a little bit. Maybe changed our sky so it was darker. But all in all, it's not too bad. Uh, so this is, yeah, just kind of an example of how you can spend a little bit of time and make it look a lot nicer. And actually, this is, I would say, like a medium, maybe not even. Like, there, there's some renderings that just look amazing. Like, this is kind of looks pretty bad, That's sort of the, the way the lighting is. So some of the lighting and some of the textures we used, we could have really improved this and made it look a lot, lot better. But hopefully this gives you uh, an idea for what you can start to do with uh, Sweet Home 3D and how we can really, I mean, look at the difference between this and this. So it's just, I just wanted to illustrate that this view, this here is kind of the basic quick view, and then just know that you can render out much more realistic looking 3D uh, renderings of these spaces that you create. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, found it informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below, leave your questions, and I will catch you on the next video.